So my name is Flavio Percoco. I work on, on Triple O mainly these days. I used to be part of the clans and, and do other storage stuff in OpenStack, but I'm now focusing on deploying OpenStack on containers as part of the Triple O project. Um, in addition to that, I'm also part of the technical committee. And um, I serve like, this is my second year in a row as part of the technical committee. Uh, and that, that's, that's what I do. So what's, what's involved in getting on the technical committee? Um, so being part of the technical committee, so the technical committee is the, is the governance body in, in OpenStack that oversees all the technical community, right? And it takes care of making sure that um, technical difficulties and the technical things that, that need to be taken care of in the community so the community can keep growing and keep working forward uh, and deploying features are being taken care of. So um, how we organize project teams, how we organize um, how we add new projects into into the big tent and the, the projects that part of, that make OpenStack what it is, um, defining what OpenStack is, making sure that we're following the mission and making sure that that, that we we are still on, on track on, on what we want to do in OpenStack. And how much work is involved in being on the TC? Is it, is it a full time job? Uh, it really depends on how much we want to be involved in TC, right? Um, so uh, for some folks, it. it, it for me, at least, it, it, it takes a lot of my time. Yeah, so it, it might be from 70% probably of my time. Um, for some other folks, it really depends if, if you want to participate and volunteer to help solving most of the issues, or if you just want to be a gatekeeper, I guess, and, and provide your opinions uh, every now and then, depending on very specific situations. I guess we're not all involved in every discussion. Um, there are some discussions that are closer to some of the folks than, than others. In the technical community, so I think it really depends on how much you want to balance that. In the Okata cycle, what what did you work on in particular on the technical side? Right. So, um, I've, like I said, I've, I've been working on Triple O in the last um, couple of months, so ever since Okata started, and and therefore that we're doing that the stuff that we're working on is is the plain open cycle container. So it is a multi-release effort that we're doing. So. We started at the beginning of kind of uh, figuring out, like structuring what we wanted to do with the containers, how we wanted to deploy uh, the architecture, and basically planning how how we're gonna get to the end goal. So the end goal is to have OpenStack running on Kubernetes. Uh, but to get there, we have to take that a interim step, which is the point of the second Docker. Um, so what we did in Kata was getting all the images that we're using the color images. So it was getting all the images, making sure that we can run those images. Um, We've, we've made a lot of progress, but the goal was not to release this in Okadas, but release it in Pike. So we're, we're still on track, we're getting there. And once it is done and released in Pike, we'll keep moving forward and try to move all, all our deployment into, into Kubernetes without, you know, one of the biggest, I guess, challenges of this effort is, is was migrating from bare metal to uh, containers, which we, we still haven't figured out entirely. But, um, uh, is the migration from bare metal to uh, containerized deployments without breaking uh, current users of Triple O. So that is the hardest part. It, it would be super easy to just like go and start over and build a new tool. But you know, like Triple O has users and APIs are the APIs that we we guarantee um, backwards compatibility for. So we, we really don't want to break those. I spoke with Victoria yesterday about outreach a little bit. Um, what do you do with outreach? Um, I mentored, um, um, I think I mentored like three or four times for outreach. I think it's a, it's a super important um, program actually. I really like it. I'm, I'm actually very sad I don't have enough time right now for, for to dedicate to, to the outreach program anymore. Um, I, I've been, well, times that I've mentored, um, we mostly worked on, on the Zakar. Zakar was one of was was one of the projects that had more mentees, I believe, in, in the entire of the Zakar community uh, coming from our region. So, was onboarding new um, new members to the community and having them like giving them tasks, a specific, specific task, and, and helping them planning those tasks across throughout the cycle, and in a way that they could feel like they were making progress and still like reaching the end goal and being happy with the, with the results of that and being able to learn across you know during the entire uh, process and and their internship of course so I think it's one of you know, I, I wish I could just go back and keep mentoring that and find some extra time but uh, 
I believe that if you volunteer for mentoring, you should have plenty of time because these these guys, these people that are joining and trying to learn, they need someone that will guide them. So um, eventually, I hope that I'll, I'll be able to just go back to the bridge. Uh, are you still involved in Zakar at all? I uh, yeah. So I'm still part of the core reviewers team. But I sometimes. Um, show up on reviews uh, and help out with some of the discussions. I'm not as involved. Um, I might get back to it, but again, time is very limited. Uh, the, the goal and the effort and the challenge that we have in the triple side is actually taking most of my technical time, I guess. So for the, the Pike cycle, it sounds like the, the work is already defined and pretty well carried out. We have it planned already. Yeah. <laughs> we just need to get there <laughs> and do it, all the work. Um, there's a lot to do. There's, there's definitely a lot to do. Will there be a, you know, point where um, of no return? I guess that we'll know that. Um, okay, this is it. This is happening, and we're we're gonna be able to do it. Um, so this week at these meetings, I mean, you've already got you already know what the, the workload is. What what have you been doing this week in these meetings here? So. Well, from, from a triple O perspective, there's a lot of also communicating this, the, the things that we've done, right? So a triple O community, it turns out, is actually huge. There are many people working in different areas and different pieces, and it's been broken down into um, several repositories that you can work on. Um, but some of them, especially, specifically this effort here, which is moving from Bermuda into containers, it touches basically everything for everyone. So there's a lot of explaining also from the rest of the team, the rest of the community, what's been done so far, where we're at, and making sure that we communicate enough so that there are no um, surprises and that, you know, that, that, also help us, that also helps keeping us honest with what we're doing and making sure that we're not making all mistakes by, you know, ignoring some other things that are happening in the community, right? Um, we, you know, we get too excited, we get you know, locked down into our rooms and try to get all, um, everything done, and, and we sometimes also forget to, that there are other people waiting for, for this thing that we're working on. And, so there's a lot of communicating that. Um, it is true that we have everything planned out. We have everything planned out in Socata, I guess. But, um, but again, like talking to Emily and talking to other people in the community, they, they bring up points that are important. Like, you know, if you want to do CI, you better start now. If you want to complete these tasks here or add more jobs, you better do it this way and, and do it, you know, no, not after, I don't know, Pike one, because then it will be too late for you to actually get everything done. And, you know, there are, there are things that you need. You still need to polish out and talk to them. And there's also an opportunity to just sit down with the rest of the team and do some coding and programming, which is awesome. 